Hello and welcome to another episode of Moose's Gear Goo Review. I'm Moose and today I have a uh, gift guide video to do. Uh, I decided to come up with a couple of different great gift ideas for the uh, gift giving season. So uh, what I decided to do is compile some different items that fell relatively within a $20 budget US and uh, these are the items that I found and I recommend and I think would be great for anyone that loves the outdoors, is interested in the outdoors, or you just want to see them get outside the house. Uh, whether they travel, camp, hike, or whatever, here they are. I'll just start from the, from the beginning here and say that most of the prices for these items I found on Amazon. Uh, so they're a pretty reliable source for pricing as well as product, product info. So I will be including links to all these products on the Amazon site. Uh, you can also check those links for um, up-to-date pricing as well. But at the time of this video, uh, these products were found on Amazon. So the first item is the Hydropack Stash. Uh, this is an awesome water bottle that I just recently fell in love with. It is kind of a blend of a softer... Uh, material uh, made of TPU and RF which I'm not exactly sure what that means but either way it is uh, kind of plush and soft and rubbery feeling as well as harder uh, plastic pieces to give it some more structure now the cool thing with this water bottle is that it's collapsible it can shrink down to one-fourth its size and then when you open it up it'll be a full-size 25 ounce or 750 milliliter water bottle the other nice thing with this water bottle, besides it being so small, it actually weighs about 50% less than your standard Nalgene water bottles or the Hydropack Stash. Get one. They're awesome. All right, guys. So next up on the list is an item that I think everyone should carry, especially when they're going out into the wilderness or the woods, and that is a pocket knife. Now, I got two different pocket knives on the list, but the first one we're going to talk about is going to be a great kind of mainstay budget option carry and that is the bird metal lark 2. now bird is one of spider co's uh kind of budget brand and most of the products if not all the products are made in china uh, now just because it's made in china does not mean that it's not made with quality uh, as well as decent materials for the price uh, that is a plain edge flat ground blade and if you've never had a flat ground blade they're just fantastic uh, it has jimping on the thumb ramp as well as jimping in the front finger choil. It has good ergonomics. It is a mid lock back. So the lock back is in the middle and it has a four way positionable pocket clip. Uh, now with those features, the pocket clip, the back lock and the thumb hole opening, you actually have a ambidextrous knife. So for a gift for those left handed, uh, backpackers whatever this would be a great option and as far as price goes at the time of this video is around 20 bucks so it hits that $20 budget definitely an excellent blade about three inches uh, and it's made out of HCR 13 MOV and like I said you can't go wrong with a good pocket knife this is the bird Meadowlark 2 all right the next item on the list is the Kershaw pub now there's a strange little looking little pocket knife uh, it doesn't look like a typical knife, and it's designed with a couple of different functions in mind. It works as a keychain, so you could easily lock this onto a uh, key ring or a set of keys. It has a flathead screwdriver and a bottle opener. Uh, the flathead could also use as kind of a mini pry bar. It is a friction folder, which means there is no lock. It's definitely a cool little piece that works well in an urban or more social environment. Uh, there is no pocket clip, so it is meant to be a keychain knife or in-pocket knife. And it has a cool sheep's foot stonewash finish, hollow grind with a plain edge. And the scale is an anodized aluminum uh, handle scale with flow-through construction. This comes in handy because you can pop open bottles, unscrew things, and cut open packages, as well as hold on to your keys. The other thing, it comes in at a really great price at just $15 at the time of this video. So the knife was $15 at the time of this video. Definitely check it out. And this is definitely a great blade for more of an urban carry. So think of that urban kind of hipster cousin that you need to give the gift to. Either way, that is the Kershaw Pub. Next on the list is a uh, book. 
and this is the worst case scenario almanac the great outdoors edition in this book it is really cool because it sections things off into uh, different kind of climate types as far as like mountains and canyons desert the forest the tropics the arctic the sea and the cities so it even has an urban survival section the other thing is within the book they have different true survival stories that they reference uh, which is really great. They talk about uh, wild animal encounters, edible foods, even how to survive an encounter with a Bigfoot, which I love, and you should know that by now. Uh, so there you have it, really fun reading. It's not too big or heavy, so it's not gonna weigh down the pack if you decide to bring this on the trail. Uh, and if this is a great kind of all ages book, maybe more for teens and adults, but either way, People will find value in it and really enjoy the reading. So it's a really great gift. Make a great stocking stuffer as well. So, um, And at the time of this video, on Amazon, it was only $10. So $10 for some actual good, usable survival information, as well as just some entertaining reading. So there you have it. That is the worst case scenario. Almanac, great outdoors edition. We have a flashlight next on our list, and that is the UCO Leshy, or Leschi. I don't really know how to say it. But either way, it's a small, compact uh, flashlight that offers a bunch of different little options as far as how it can help you out in the woods or out in your everyday life. It is a small, compact, uses one AAA battery, and has a brightness of up to 110 lumens. Uh, the design is really neat because it is a two-function design as far as uh, you can use it as a hand torch or a flashlight. Uh, and then you can actually extend the uh, hood of it out and create a small little lantern. It has a tail end switch that is actually very plush and has some gnarling on that so you have a decent grip. And it is three different flashlight modes. You have a low, a high, and then a strobe. Now as far as battery life goes, it kind of lacks a little bit on the battery life, but for a budget friendly option using one battery and still hitting 110 lumens the battery life is acceptable on low it'll last for about four hours and i think the low setting it doesn't specify but it is around 50 to 60 lumens on high uh, which is 110 lumens it'll last for about 2.5 hours and then the strobe setting if you're in an emergency will last up to seven hours and the beam itself can uh, launch light up to 279 feet. It is fairly compact and durable. It has good, well-built uh, quality. And then it also has this small little bungee cord on the side that allows you to hook it around a small branch or pole or even hang from the bungee cord. So then it just makes it a little bit more versatile. This is a great stocking stuffer uh, and good for anyone uh, who is looking for a small flashlight that can throw 100 lumens. Um, it would be also great for any kind of weekend warriors or people who like to car camp. Uh, just using the flashlight between walking from the campsite to the bathroom, this would really come in handy. It would also be good as just a small car flashlight, keep it on your, in your car, uh, or any other safety kits. Um, but definitely recommend it for the price. And at the time of this video, the price was as low as $10, uh, but it can go from anywhere from $10 to $14 in price depending on the color. There are three color options as well. So there you have it. This is the UCO uh, Leschi or Le Lessi? Leschi? I don't know. Look it up. And the next item on the list is the Survival Medic uh, by Soul. So it stands for Survive Outdoors Longer and basically is a combo kit uh, that packs basic survival items with a couple of different first aid items. So if you have someone that's in need of a small uh, basic first aid kit uh, as well as a survival kit this is a great option once again makes a great stocking stuffer and it keeps things light and compact now included in the kit are kind of your basic elements of survival uh, with shelter there's emergency blanket a compass a whistle duct tape and fire starter all included and then there's a couple of different small medical supplies for basic trail injuries uh, with some adhesive bandages some ibuprofen and some safety pins now, obviously, uh, it's not the perfect survival kit or the perfect medical kit, but it's better than nothing. And with its compact size and a waterproof container, all sealed in a pouch, this is a perfect gift for the beginner backpacker, hiker, camper, 
or uh, just anyone to keep in a day pack or fanny pack, this is perfect. Now at the time of this video is just $12.99 uh, on Amazon, so please check the links down below so you can check that out. Um, but besides that, Soul Offer also offers uh, other options as far as medical kits and survival kits. So you can follow the link down below and you'll see those as well. So there you have it. This is the Top Notch Survival Tool. It is the Soul Survival Medic. Really awesome little kit for a really good price and it would make a really good gift. Now we're winding down to the last couple items on this gift guide and this one is the Nightcore Tube Keychain Light. Now this light is super awesome and incredibly powerful for its compact lightweight design. It has a plastic body, rubberized button, and rubberized uh, charging port. It is a single LED and the brightness on first click is one lumen, on second click is 45 lumens, which is really bright for such a compact, small device. You have a couple of different settings. If you just hold the button, it'll automatically go to turbo. When you let go, it'll turn off. And then if you press it once and then press it again, but hold on the second press, you can actually uh, increase light from one to 45 lumens, as you can see here. Really cool. Now it is charged by a micro USB and charging time is next to nothing with how small it is. But surprisingly, on the one lumen setting, it can last up to 48 hours of battery life. Uh, on the max setting, 45 lumens, it'll last about an hour. Now it does have a key ring on the back and uh, depending on what color, mine I believe came with a charging cord, but it's not included in the package. So just be aware of that when you order it. And on the cheap side, you can get it for about $9 on Amazon at the time of this video. Uh, but depending on the color, like I said, it might be even more pricier than that, but should still be under $20. But I can't guarantee that. Uh, either way, um, when you plug it in, it'll charge and a small indicator light will come on inside the housing. It is uh, kind of a translucent housing, so that's really good. And like I said, it's super small, super lightweight. Make a great stocking stuffer again. Uh, and this is definitely something more for like the urban explorer, not necessarily urban explorer, but someone for a, a good urban EDC carry uh, or just adding it to an EDC kit. So there you have it. This is the Nightcore Tube uh, small keychain flashlight, 45 lumens. Excellent gift for the price. Check it out. All right. Now the last item on this gift guide is the Aki 10,000 milliamp battery pack. Now, I like this battery pack because, one, it holds 10,000 milliamps, uh, which is really good, especially for how slim it is. It has a very slim design, fits great in back pockets or front, uh, and pretty much any kind of book bag or EDC kit this should be able to fit into. Um, it has good solid construction, a really nice texture to it, so it's not going to slip out of hand. It has one micro USB port for charging and then two USB ports for charging two different devices at the same time. Uh, it's relatively fast uh, for the price and for the amount of uh, battery it can hold. So, but it's not a super char super quick charger for that. This would be great for anyone who uses uh, rechargeable flashlights or uh, GPS units out when they're backpacking, uh, or just anyone who has an EDC kit. It'd be great for that as well to carry. I just previously showed you the rechargeable flashlight. This will charge it in no time. Um, I've charged my GoPro with this. I've charged my cell phone with this. Charged my tablet. So it definitely works great. It's compact design. Really nice. The other nice thing, it comes with a couple nice accoutrements. It comes with a mesh carry pouch as well as a USB charging cord. So the Aki 10,000 milliamp battery pack is just $19.99, so it hits that $20 budget at the time of this video on Amazon. I have seen it previously uh, as low as $15. So definitely a great, uh, reliable power bank. It has four LED indicator lights that'll let you know battery life as well as turning it on. There is an on button on the side so that you can actually turn on or off the power bank. And it has some smart technology in it that will prevent overcharging of devices as well. So highly recommend the slim design Aki 10,000 milliamp power bank. Well, there you have it, guys. These are my gift ideas for uh, the 2017 holiday season. I hope you guys enjoy them. They are all oriented to 
uh, getting people outdoors. Uh, just definitely some great gift ideas uh, at a budget price. Now remember, at the time of this video, all these items were under $20. Uh, be sure to check out the links below. I'll put the links to the Amazon uh, pages where you can find out more information and find these items. Other than that, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can check out, let me see, the eye in the upper right hand corner to uh, some of the other videos that I make, as well as check out these other two videos to my right. And you can click that uh, subscription button, the big logo button down in the bottom. And remember guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you end up purchasing any of these items. I'd love to get some feedback and see what you thought about them. So, thank you.